Hello, hello, Aries. Come on in here. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. This is your weekly reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th. How are you, Aries? I've been away for some time now. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad to be back. And if this is your first time, welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Aries, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull an angel number oracle card for you. Then we're going to move over to one of my other oracle decks and get tarot to clarify. Spirit, what does Aries need to know? Do tell. Aries, angel number this week is one, two, three, four. Good luck. Wow, Aries. Amazing. Good luck. Spirit guides, progress, justice, structures, systems, processes, conditioning, and rules. You are on the right track, Aries. Someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best. You will succeed. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall. Be sure that everything will fall to pieces. I'm not sure about that part. Okay, I need clarity on that, Divine Spirit. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall to pieces. I hope that's a typo. This is the Angel Number Oracle Cards deck. Um, <laughs> I need clarity on that, okay? So, let's see. Where am I going? I'm going to go to the Starseed Oracle for your overall energy, Aries. Apparently, good luck is waiting for you this week. Spirit, what does Aries' overall energy look like? Okay. Loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, destiny, addiction, let God in. Wow. You're on the right track. Someone from the other side has your back. Let God, the God of your understanding, Aries, whomever that is to you, let God in, universe, um, source. That That is who I'm feeling has your back, Aries. Okay? That's what I'm feeling from this. Letting go. Just surrendering. I feel like, Aries, some of you may be using something as a coping mechanism that is actually keeping you stuck um yeah it says addiction here and that doesn't just mean drugs and alcohol folks can be addicted to all sorts of things and use them as coping mechanisms loosen your grip aries all right let's get more from the tarot to find out what's going on here because apparently you have some good luck coming in but there are rules you're going to need to depend on your spirit guides, right? Your angels and ancestors. Let the God of your understanding in, Aries. Because you're blocking your own blessings with this coping mechanism that is it's not healthy. It's negative energy holding you down. Keeping you anxious and worried is what I'm feeling. Five of Wands, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and Strength. Mm -hmm. Six of Wands is on the bottom of the deck, Aries. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Five of Wands, Aries. This, what I'm feeling... With this five of wands for you. It's like you know this coping mechanism. This thing that is keeping you stuck. You you know it's not good for you. You're in conflict with yourself. Because you feel like you know better. I know better is what I'm hearing. I know better. Aries. But here's a chance to change things. Here's a chance to turn things around. Because not only is the five of wands this 
points to some sort of conflict or chaos, but I also consider Five of Wands a sign for change, a sign for you to be able to get free, for you to loosen your grip, Aries. And then we have the Four of Wands coming in, which it's telling me what I'm feeling with this Four of Wands for you, Aries, is that you are going to actually come home to yourself. You're going to you're going to lose those coping mechanisms. You're going to um, overcome whatever this addiction is that you use as a coping mechanism. You're going to overcome that, Aries. And this is telling me, this Four of Wands is telling me you are coming home to self. And I see that with the Strength card for you, Aries, you absolutely have the strength and courage you need to get through this. Yet you also are reminded by spirit with this strength card is to also have compassion and grace for yourself as you move through this process as you progress through this process lean on your spirit guides ancestors and angels and the god of your understanding they have your back they're encouraging you to go forward that you're capable to do this because right now you you have a scarcity mindset. You have a, a mindset of lack and not enough is what I'm feeling with this four of pentacles for you, Aries. Um, again, that six of wands is on the bottom of the deck. So that means there is reward. That means you will be rewarded for the hard work that you do to get yourself into a better place and space because your luck is changing. Right? Let's get some clarification here. Spirit, do tell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Knight of Swords. The Emperor. Yes, Aries. Yep. Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. On the bottom of this deck is the Seven of Wands. We're going to go ahead and clarify that Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands. So, with this Five of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords clarifying this Five of Wands for you, Aries. You must be assertive with this change. You must take action with this change that is is for your freedom, it's for your good, right? It's for your progress, Aries. The Knight of Swords is showing you take action to gain that freedom. Because again, I don't I don't see Five of Wands as all negative. First of all, it's just sticks. It's not even swords. I do see this as a card of freedom. I do see Five of Wands as a card of change. And with the Knight of Swords, you are being called to take action toward change um for the betterment for your good luck aries and then the four of wands is clarified with the emperor are we serious right now this is beautiful you will create structure in your life and i'm looking back here at the angel number card structure systems and that is that is a part of the emperor's energy for you aries structure authority creating systems for yourself when you get to come home to self you like where you are you like home coming home to yourself you begin to love being ho at home with yourself and so you create those structures for your life to keep improving and progressing right so that is what i'm feeling with the emperor and then we have the Six of Swords clarifying the Four of Pentacles. That scarcity, that lack mindset, it's time to move away from that. You are protected. You no longer have to stay in the mindset of scarcity. It's time to move forward. Your yeah, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, the God of your understanding is protecting you with these swords in front of the boat. Right, Aries? Because it's time to move on from the mindset of lack or loss. Because that's, that's what I'm feeling with that. Four of Pentacles for you, Aries. And then we have the Page of Swords clarifying strength. I feel that it's because you are strong. You need to believe. The Page of Swords is say, believe in your mind. It starts in your mind. What you believe, just like you believe there is lack and not enough, you can also believe that you are strong enough to get through this. You, you can also believe 
Aries, that you are capable of moving forward with the support that you have surrounding you. Your entire spiritual team is rooting for you. They've got your back. They're protecting your front. You are covered on all sides. And so with this page of swords, Aries, it's saying, believe you are strong enough to do this. You are absolutely capable of making this change to change your luck. And then we have the seven of wands clarifying the six of wands. You will win. And, and, and what I'm feeling with the seven of wands, people aren't going to like the new you and that's okay. That's none of your business, right? That's their problem. So as you begin to elevate and come into a place of reward and your life transitions and you are rewarded daily with how you feel emotionally and physically, mentally, and spiritually, those are rewards in and of itself, and you want more of that. That becomes your addiction. The addiction, the obsession to improve your life daily, Aries. And so you're going to have to stand your ground because people aren't going to like the new you. And they, they, because they, they realize they can no, no, no longer manipulate you, right? They can no longer get over on you. They can no longer use you. So hold tight to the new you as you come home to self. Okay, Aries, I feel like I want something else. I want a shaman's dream oracle. Let me see what I, I just feel. Aries, one more card for you. Spirit, what do, what do we need Aries to know? This is beautiful. You can come out of this. Let the God of your understanding in Aries to help you transition, change, progress, and move into your power. Move into your, your authority, right? Metox. Okay, so it's going to take some self-care, some true self-care for you, Aries, right? Not just a manicure, pedicure, or a massage. True self-care where you're sitting down, you're getting quiet, you're taking time to love yourself from the inside out. When you know how to love yourself unconditionally, you will also know when it feels like someone else is not loving you unconditionally and you don't have to stay in that space. You need this me talks, you need this me time. Uh, dead the noise, quiet the noise, get still on purpose, journal, Pray, meditate, whatever it takes for you, Aries, to be able to hear the wisdom of your soul and to hear your spiritual team guiding you in the right way to go, to change your luck, to get to where you need to be, to surrender to the process of elevation, Aries. This is for you. You're able to do this.